in this video I'll be showing you how I created this ball bouncing animation and I basically used clay for this and this metal thingy to just make it appear as if it's bouncing and floating in the air. So this is the sequence that I have for the images and what I plan to do is remove the hand and met the metal thing so I'll be using a blank image with no hand and no ball. Import this to Photoshop. And I'll also import the images. So I'll take one image at a time. So image rotates 90 degrees clockwise. So now I have the image in the perfect rotation. I'll start removing the hand using the eraser tool. For the hand, which is a big section, I'll be using a big brush. And for the small parts, for the detailed metal part next to the ball, I'll be using the small brush. So notice how precise I can go if I have a small brush. Okay, once you're happy with it, File, export, export as, and save your image. Repeat the step for all the images that we have. I then decided to use the selection tool to copy and paste the ball instead of removing the hand using the eraser tool. So it was a bit easier and faster. So these are the final images. This is the sequence. This is a comparison. The before is with the hand and the metal piece and after is without the hand. Okay, now to edit, uh, I am going to use Adobe Premiere for this. So I'll create a new project. and I'll import all my images. Select all the images and just adjust the speed and make it 0 0.3. So three frames per second. Right click on the first image and new sequence from clip. So now we have a sequence. Select all the images and just drag them in your timeline. Okay, so now we have a composition of our images. So what I like to do is nest all the images. So right click, nest. So now it's like a folder, we could like use it. Copy and paste it. So what I wanna do now is just make a loop of the ball bouncing. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just remove a few frames from the second nest. So just as the ball is bouncing. And I'll remove the last frame. Okay, so I'll just remove the last frame. Okay, now it's good. So select both of the nest and then nest them again. So this makes it easier to edit everything. And what I'm going to do now is because there's a small shake in the camera and I don't, I don't want that. So I'm going to apply the wrap stabilizer effect. And this just removes any shakiness in our video. I'll just wait for it to finish syncing. So this is a comparison with no wrap stabilizer and with the wrap stabilizer. Now I'm just going to just add a bit more exposure and contrast just to make the video more, let it pop in. Okay, so I'm using the Lamorati color panel to do this. 
So it's just adjusting and playing with the effects. So now I'll just add sound effects to the video. I have one sound of the ball bouncing and the other is of the clay just sticking on the table and being removed. So I'm going to add them. I'm not going to go in detail of how to add sound effects because we already have a video for that. I am going to link it below in the description. So I'll just fast forward the editing of the sound. Okay, now I'm just going to duplicate the nested images and make four loops. And I'm going to use individual sound effects for each video. I'm not going to copy paste the sound effects. I am going to use different sound effects for each one. Once you are done, you should end up with something like this. Now to export file, export media. Gonna leave the same presets. And just save the file and name it with the name that you would like. And once it's done encoding, we have the final video.